So let us discuss the concept of provider versioning in Terraform. Each provider follows its own version series, which allows providers to evolve and make the necessary improvements. So what happens in a normal flow, we write a Terraform file uh, in a JSON format and this interacts with the Terraform EXE, the software that we have installed on our local machine. And if we have written a configuration for a particular provider, it will interact. In this case, we have Redis Cloud provider. Whatever versions you have specified, it is going to go to the Redis Cloud and will download the specific version. So whatever version you will specify, it can download, although it's not mandatory to specify a version. So a user can specify a version argument in the configuration file. The version argument is optional. If it is omitted, Terraform will accept any provider version. So have a look at this picture, the version 3.0. And we can write a greater than or equal to or less than equal to. And it will download the latest version of, uh, in this case, AWS provider. So Terraform will accept any provider version, whichever is compatible. However, it is recommended to specify a version constraint for every provider. You can create a dependency lock file as well to ensure Terraform always installs the identical provider version. Okay, so let's see this in action. In Atom Editor, create a new folder. I'm giving a name provider versioning. And inside this, we will uh, create a Terraform file where we'll specify the version. So the folder is created, go inside this and create a file, new file. Provider versioning.tf is the name I'm giving here and we'll write our configuration from scratch. So let's see where do we write the version. So first of all, installing a Terraform and specifying the resource, the provider version here. So later uh, we will see what are the different ways to specify the version, greater than, less than. So here I have specified AWS provider and the source. So this uh, piece of code becomes mandatory if you are installing a provider which is not maintained by HashiCorp. This we discussed few times. So here I have uh, mentioned the source, the HashiCorp is maintaining this provider and the version uh, tilde greater than three means any version greater than three which is available and compatible of course. So now I have mentioned another provider and I'm going to copy code from the previous uh, snippet region keeping AP Southeast one. This is the Singapore region in Amazon. Going to the Terraform registry, uh, you can take a sample code from this uh, use provider. Here you see the latest version right now is 3.63.0. So if we have specified greater than three, that means the latest version greater than 3 would be downloaded. So keep a note of 3.63, uh, which is the latest one. And I mentioned greater than 3. So let's do our Terraform command in it. This will download the Terraform provider. Since I have created a new folder, uh, it is going to download this again. And we just cross checked here. It downloaded 3.63.0. And this is the latest version we noticed on the website as well. 3.63.0. So this uh, provider is downloaded on the local machine in the same folder that where we executed this command. In this case, provider versioning with an exercise folder. Have a look at this. Terraform, provider and somewhere version also will notice. 3.63. So we just noticed if we give a greater than sign with a tilde, greater than 3 in this case with tilde, that means the latest version above 3 would be downloaded. 
We also have a log file as I mentioned. Um, if you want to check in this log file to ensure that every time same version is installed, you can you can utilize this log file. Okay, let's try to change the version to 2.0 and let's see what happens. Again initializing and it has given an error that failed to query the available provider package. Could not retrieve the list of available version because there is a mismatch. So the latest version available is 3.63 and what we have specified here is a 2 series. So of course this is not going to work here. Okay, so we have to remove this lock file because once the lock file is created it will adhere to that specification and now since there is no lock file it is going to download the dependency from beginning since we have given 2 it will download the latest version of terraform above 2 so you will notice the latest compatible version in the version 2 series is 2.70 and that would be downloaded and you can see this and cross check this in a lock file so the lock file is also created as soon as you execute uh, your terraform in it okay let's do some experiment and check other scenarios i'm giving 2.5 which means greater than uh, 2.5 version and let's see what happens terraform in it Okay, it says uh, using the previously installed, so that is already adhering to uh, what we mentioned. Let's uh, give less than equal to 2.50. So definitely a version less than 2.50 would be installed and if you will not delete the log file, it will again give you an error because it will load the libraries or the versions from according to the log file which gets created. So after deleting the log file, running it again, and it will download the version less than 2.50 or equal to as well we have mentioned okay download is completed let's cross check you can check in the log file and you see the version which is downloaded 2.50 and of course it is ad adhering to the syntax that we have mentioned which is uh, 2.50.0 Okay, so this version which is an optional field is uh, very useful now let's see one more combination I'm saying install a version between two numbers so it should be greater than 2.20 and less than equal to 2.60 okay and of course before running this remove the log file otherwise it will adhere or go according to the log file Terraform in it between 2.2 .2 and 2.6 it is going to download and it seems 2.6 version is available and that is getting downloaded so we have seen tilde we have seen greater than we have seen less than then we have seen in between greater than equal to and less than equal to so all possible combinations are possible with the provider versioning So since we executed this code four times, so four different versions uh, were installed. So the log file is important. Next time you run it, it is going to read from the log file. Okay, go to Atom Editor. Again, the provider versioning file. And now, uh, let's try a different combination with tilde again, the first one we started with. And I mentioned 3.0. And this is going to download the latest version above 3. Okay, since I have not deleted the lock file, uh, it says that there is a mismatch the HashiCorp AWS 2.6.0 which is there in the log file it doesn't match with the constant that I have specified so how to deal with this one way of course you can delete the log file and the other option the second option we are seeing for the first time we can run an init upgrade 
this means that ignore whatever is there in the log file and create from fresh it will do the changes in the terraform log file as you can see terraform has made some changes to the provided dependency selections which is recorded in the log files let's cross check in the log file so again it is uh, updated 3.6.3.63 got downloaded so either delete the log file run it again or you can do an upgrade uh, while running an init command from terraform so this completes this demo just to summarize in this demo we learned what is provider versioning how can we specify different versions of a provider what are the different options greater than less than we also talked about terraform log file which records the version and what is the impact of deleting that log file and in the end we learned there is an upgrade command that we run with init For more details check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success certified.